check something on my phone. Nope. Check something on my phone. Okay, good. I can hear myself. Probably should have checked that before I start actually click the button to go live. <laughs> Which hopefully you can hear this. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you know, after the fact, then the first 30 minutes of the last one, you can't hear anything. Which I do apologize. Thankfully, there are subtitles. But yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube. Really, Emma? I'm not trying. Okay. Bad idea. Cancel. 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 Bad idea. Ow. That's a terrible idea. Not the first terrible idea I've had just tonight. That would be headlines on a lot of uh, on a lot of websites. <laughs> wow! Dang! Wow! That would be a real headline on uh, a lot of the uh, websites. There, a man strangles himself trying to make terrible joke during stream and dies. That would be me. That would be me in a nutshell. Okay, let's load the game. No saving. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's about all I can say with that, is wow. <laughs> the toys are all just as lame as Santa remembers them. Is this trampoline still useless? Yep, still useless. Yeah, probably so. We're probably gonna have to use it. But it's probably useless. We're probably gonna have to do one of these. Must be one of those Rex Skirmish dolls. Do your worst, Dr. Despicable! You'll never kill Rex Skirmish! Hmm. Whee! The creepily high-tech toy delivery system. Anyway, Chris, to catch you up if you didn't know, we're in hell, and we're in the special wing that uh, the devil has made for people who know Sam and Max. So we're in this like a uh, like a um, kind of like file drawer system where people are like who are dead, uh, their souls are kept, and we're going in there and um, I think we're actually helping them for once, not actually torturing them, which I think is what the devil wants. I don't know how to work it. Computers in hell all run Linux. Wow. Shots fired. Hmm, I thought we took the North Pole. Yeah, must be one of those cheap hell-made knockoffs. Uh, this record player brings back memories. Oh, you never forget your first semi-successful exorcism. Yeah. It's magically that. sealed. Torture me, Elmer. Must feel right at home here. <laughs> A taunting reminder of how Santa got here in the first place. Okay, the flounder pounder is still there. I'm afraid it's quite inoperational. There shall be no pounding of flounders in hell. Always circling, never landing. So how are we supposed to release Santa? We talked well, to let's all be time. quiet and let Santa Claus do his thing. Uh oh, I think I need to be changed. No wait, false alarm. <laughs> so I guess we probably have to get rid of the babies. Ooh, Stinky's baby book. Maybe we need to get I don't that. think anyone wants to hear about Stinky's early years. Oh, hey, maybe read them a story or something. Hmm, the nitrous oxide will be from... Will be for our car, I know. See what Max had to say about Santa. Being here, I can't help but feel jolly. Ah, there's just something about hell this time of year. 
I wonder if we're partly to blame for Santa getting sent to hell. Seeing as how we knocked him out, sealed him in a box, and called for the delivery guy to pick him up, I feel indirectly responsible. Oh, it did say, oh, that is right. That is right. Um, we did put him in a delivery box, and that said deliver to Satan or something, didn't, didn't they? That is right. Yeah, I guess it if is. If really hates kids, then getting into his line of work was about as foolish as... As joining the freelance police when you're allergic to dogs? Max, I never knew. Because I carry on without whining about it, Sam. That is how much I love justice. <laughs> By the way, Chris, am I, am I sending garbled? Is the, uh, is the sound actually okay? Now I'm actually getting paranoid. I think... Yeah, it was a joke. I see. I, I'm re-looking at the smiley face thing. Merry Christmas, Max. <laughs> There's no place like hell for the holidays. Strange. There's nothing out there. Just nothing. Oh, I had to click on the Let's thing. get out of here. Okay, Max. Well, there's a hint. Nothing left there. <laughs> Okay, there's one left. We gotta go visit the elf. You didn't miss a ton. Looks like some kind of vaguely familiar hellish toy factory, Max. Oh boy, I want to see the assembly line where they injection mold the dolls' heads. I hear it's strangely hypnotic. Oh, there's no <laughs> assembly line. I make all my toys one at a time. It's the only way to guarantee each child loves it as much as I do. <laughs> he didn't miss too much there, bud. Um, I finished looking around there in the um, in the kitchen there with uh, Grandpa Stinky. Apparently, we're supposed to. Oh, and I did find out what 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 really terrible thing we're going to have to do. Let's just say that after we do this, we're definitely coming back. You know, since we're not actually dead, we're going to be able to leave. But we're coming back for what we have to do <laughs> to, to progress. Um, yeah, we have to get... Uh, uh, Grandpa Stinky is the assistant on that cooking show. So, in order to release him from hell, we're going to have to get uh, the main person fired. And uh, one, the rats... Uh, from the beginning, uh, are there, and one of them swore, and that guy who was who uh, was talking about being the censor, he came in and said something about um, about how uh, they were going to have to be careful because if they swore too much, they're going to cancel the show. So we're going to have to kill Tiny Timmy, with who has the the uh, terminal Tourette's. We're going to have to kill the baby mouse. Yeah. And then uh, after that, I just went to visit Santa. And that, that's all you missed. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're going to have to kill a baby mouse. Oh, no, indeed. <laughs> His arms are. Tis but a flesh wound. Hmm. <laughs> It's pumping out those gifts from Santa's workshop. I hope the elf can work this stuff, because I sure can. It looks very technical. I hope the elf can work. Okay, yeah, I think it'd be the same. Look, Max, it's our favorite demonically possessed elf. Well, maybe not favorite, but he's in the top five at least. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> we haven't seen you since the exorcism. How'd you end up here? I'm not sure. When I woke up, I went outside to find Santa. But the last thing I saw was a horrible monster. I must have fainted. When I woke up, I was in this fancy factory. I guess Santa gave me another promotion. <laughs> um, what a promotion, guy. Yeah. You're looking chipper. Are you enjoying sending overpriced toys out to overprivileged children? Oh no, it's awful. No matter what I do, my toys keep getting sent back. Okay, look, just because you're an elf doesn't mean you're good at making toys. Stop <laughs> living the stereotype. 
Oh, I'm plenty good at making toys. But what good is that when there are no children to enjoy them? It's like being in, well, the place where bad people go and it's really hot. Tampa? <laughs> That's where you're at, Elf. What toy are you working on now? It's the hottest new toy for Christmas. The Rex Skirmish Danger Hero Action Figure. He's a testosterone packed champion of the glorious art of savage brutality. Sounds like someone's overcompensating. <laughs> the head office keeps sending him back, but I know I can make him perfect. Hmm. Max and I wrote the book on gleefully violent entertainment. I'm especially proud of the appendix, detailing the ripping out thereof. <laughs> Why don't you let us help with your toy? Hmm, maybe I have been overthinking it. Your childish simplicity could be just what I need. Childlike. All right. First, what kind of cool outfit should he have? Hmm. Commando style. That sounds like it could be something very different. Or is it exactly what they're talking about? Hmm. <laughs> toys. It's not that type of toy, uh, there, Chris. No need to get it that excited. <laughs> though that would be a reason why they would be getting sent back, though. <laughs> hmm. Let's do Commando style, why not? He should be all buff and shirtless, with a big flaming skull tattoo on his chest. Done! Now, what should his action-packed attachment be? Hmm. What do you guys think? Chainsaw, a list of enemies, a sequined hand bag, or a magic spatula? This is the SpongeBob, um, action figure. We know what we, we know what the one that would be there. Maybe I know the, the right one to progress the story, but I'll, I'll take uh, y'all's advice for now. <laughs> I'm curious what they what it'll look like. Maybe if if it'll actually have like a graphic of it. <laughs> sequined handbag. A sequined yet tasteful handbag to show he's in touch with his feminine side. I can do that now. What's his tragic flaw? What drives him to seek out danger? <laughs> Crippling dead. Acid for blood. Is that really weakness? I feel like that's actually quite the strength. Like, nobody wants to touch him. You know, like, he would have to, uh, you'd have to get him from a distance. A brain disease and chronic halitosis. So which one there? Uh, do you think I should choose? <laughs> Hopefully, if you had a sequined handbag, but yet crippling debt, that'd be kind of sad and depressing. I have 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 no money, but I have this purse that I can't put the money I don't have in. <laughs> Chris, what, what you thinking? What should be this guy's weakness? What was it called? The Rex Danger doll or something? I just find it really funny. This guy, he has like a scup. He's uh, like, looks probably like something like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like, oh, uh, with a flaming skull on his uh, on his uh, chest, toting a, toting a. Uh, <laughs> A sequined handbag. He's Crippling buried under is. a mountain of high-interest credit card debt and outstanding student loans. Hmm. Okay. Thanks for the suggestions, guys. I'll whip up a prototype. 
Yeah, I'm hoping that maybe this looks like, uh... It's the Rex Skirmish doll with killer abs, a tasteful handbag, and crippling debt. Oh, I don't. Oh, it's I the don't Rex show Skirmish handbag. doll with oh, killer abs, lame. a tasteful handbag, and crippling debt. It's lame. Very useful to have in hell. Would it really be though? Would it really be? Hmm. So many presents and no one to play with them. It's enough to make you cry a custard. Hello, Mr. Elf. Don't be discouraged. Maybe Max and I can help you find a job you're good at. Oh, I'm plenty good at making toys. But what good is that when... Okay, yeah, same thing. We'll help with your toy. Oh. Hmm, I'm, I'm guessing... What would it, what would it need to be? I guess maybe like, uh, the... The most, the most toughest, maybe? Possibly? Titanium reinforced mech suit with digital readouts. At this point, he's more machine than man. Done! Now, what should his action-packed attachment be? Hmm. A bio-diesel-powered chainsaw caked with the blood of eco-terrorists. I can do that. Now, what's his tragic flaw? What drives him to seek out danger? Again, I don't think acid for blood is really much of a weakness. He's got highly caustic acid for blood and various related digestive disorders. <laughs> okay, thanks. I'll send out the new that version probably, right yeah, away. Yeah, there probably would be some digestive issues. Still it's the Rex Skirmish doll with a neck suit, chainsaw, and acid for blood. Hmm. Oh, I just clicked on the update. Hello, Mr. Elf. Hmm. We'll help. All right. I feel like the other two are good. I think, I feel like they are. A Kevlar shot. Done. Oh, now, Dang, what should his action pack attachment be? A bot. I can do that. He's <laughs> okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh, I get it. These are the toys that come out of Santa's chute, so to speak. Oh, I, I thought there for a second didn't I didn't see uh, recall on there. It's the Rex Skirmish doll with the Kevlar vet chainsaw. Yeah, is it still recall? Hello, yeah, Mr. Recall. Elf. Dang it. We'll help with. All right. Okay, so maybe we should do the opposite. Maybe we should make it to where it's completely safe. Let's go he should be all stuff. buff and shirtless. Done. Now. Hmm. No attachments. No choking hazards. A list of the other toys who have wronged him. A constant reminder of his insatiable quest for vengeance. Hmm. I can do that. Now, what's his tragic flaw? Hmm. And I think crippling debt might be the right thing for that one. He's buried. <laughs> because it's a non existent thing that, you know. Dang it. Still recall. Santa's elves sure are loyal to follow him all the way to hell. Maybe Santa's like one of those pharaohs, having all his servants buried along with him. Now you've just got me wondering what a mummified Santa would look like. <laughs> There's one easy way to find out. <laughs> I hope when we die, they put our hells close to each other. It'd be like a slumber party that never ends. <laughs> we should probably make a reservation pretty soon. Any ideas on how we can improve that elf's doll? It's an Figure, Sam. Dolls are for girls. Okay then, how can we improve that elf's action figure? I think he should have a sparkly outfit and a pony. <laughs> Ever feel like your heart's just not into detective work anymore? Yeah, all these evil toy factories start to look the same after a while. 
keep on doing that thing you do, Max. Hello, Mr. Elf. We'll help. All right. Mm. He done. A C I can do that. He's got a rare brain disease that lets him read guilty people's minds. <laughs> okay, thanks. I'll send out the new version right away. That is a that is quite the uh Guilty about what though? Dang it, still we go. Remember that movie Alien? Still wishing you had acid for blood? <laughs> well, duh. Okay. Thanks for the hint. Hello, Mr. L. Okay, so we need a okay, acid for blood is definitely the we'll help. Right, All thing. right. So okay, I think I had the right idea. What would be Okay. So chainsaw a I can do and acid for blood, I think is the right He's <laughs> okay. All the right things. I think. Dang it! Okay, still recall. Hello, Mr. L. We'll help. All right. Wait, well, crap! What? Which one did I choose last time? I can't remember what which one I chose. I know I did titanium mech suit the first time. Let's do should... commando Done. style. A buck! I can do. And acid He's... blood. <laughs> These are the toys that come out of Santa's shoe. Mm -hmm. Dang it, still recall. Hello, Mr. Elf. Here's, a, here's the problem. They might all be recalled. We'll help with your toy. All right. Well, we might, but they do, they, these toys are the same ones in Santa's factory, so we might have to have it in a certain way to get a toy there. We might still need it recalled, but we might need a specific toy set up in a different, in a specific way. Crap, I can't remember which one of these I did with the... Still... Done! A bot? I can do that! He's gone. <laughs> okay! Hmm. Armors for wimps! Okay. Armor is for wimps. Hello, Mr. Elf. Thank you for the hints. <laughs> we'll help. All right. So, Commando He style. should be all done. Hmm. Do we need a spatula for some reason? A magic spatula bequeathed him by Andrinmir, Norse chef of the gods. I can do that. Now. And then acid for blood. He's <laughs> okay. Hmm. Hello, Mr. Elf. We'll help. All right. Hmm. He should done. A vengeance. I. <laughs> yeah, my, my fear about this is there may not be a way of knowing. These are the toys that come out of Santa's shoe. Uh, yeah, we get that, Matt. Uh, Sam. There may not be a way of knowing right Hello, now Mr. Elf. which one we're we'll getting right. All right. He should be done. They when I can do. He's gone. <laughs> okay. Dang it. Okay. Okay. Let's Hello, do it the way that. I that I'm thinking. We'll help. The oh. way I originally thought. Well, um, he should be done. That one, uh, chainsaw. Uh, He's got acid for blood. Okay. Yeah, still, still recalled. Hmm. 
Was this is the stream looking alright? I noticed that I've dropped some frames. Not a lot, but uh, a, a few. Let's go to Santa's workshop. Must be one of those Rex skirmish dolls. Do your worst, Doctor Despicable. You'll never kill Rex skirmish. Must be one of those Rex. Do your worst, Doctor Despicable. Okay, You'll never kill. Re huh. It's the Rex Skirmish doll with killer abs, chainsaw, and acid for blood. Hi there, Santa. Which toy is that you're working on again? Some death trap called the Rex Skirmish Danger Hero doll. I'm going to be recalling the hell out of this one. Hmm. Right. Keep cool, Santa. It feels dangerous in here, and not just because of the kids. <coughs> hmm. Nuh-uh. Yeah, I didn't think we could, I didn't think we could use the remote control with it. Hmm. Well, crap. We can't do anything with the computer. It, it didn't let us do that before. I don't know how to work it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Must be one of those Rex skirmish dolls. Do your worst, Doctor. Dis okay, yeah. Okay, we're walking around and stuff uh, there just to look at the same stuff. Hmm. I'm really confused. This is worrisome. It's early in the game, and I'm already really confused about stuff. Well, let's go see. Let's see if I can make some progress elsewhere. If we start nar narrowing things down, it might become clear what we need to do later. Whee! Unfortunately, hell is still working at maximum efficiency. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Whee! I think Max likes that. Okay, can we go back? Can we go back to town? Because I, I want to uh, see what we can do with Timmy. And I want to see if we can use our nitrous on our car. <laughs> the soul train. Okay, good. Get, getting back is going to be easy. Awesome. To be honest, with them two, I think it's going to be a lot easier than than you would think. <laughs> with what, what everything they do. Okay, can we use our nitrous on here? I can't. The DeSoto's dead. Dang it, I was hoping maybe that would bring it back to life somehow. I don't see anything here to... Oh, there's Harry. He's there now. Harry, how'd you get back up here so fast? Guys, I'm omnipresent. Now, keep it down. These mortals can't see or hear me. Please, Death! You can't take Timmy! He ain't never hurt nobody! God damn! <laughs> what are you doing up here? I'm looming! Part of the job description. It's looming is part of this job description. <laughs> you wouldn't be so cruel as to take poor tiny Timmy away, would you? Just look at the kid! He's got the life expectancy of a tomato and a knife commercial. 
chartless fiend. Can I watch? I don't see what everybody's so upset about. He's going to a better place than this one. Well, that doesn't really narrow it down much. Heaven, dimwit! Timmy seems like a nice enough kid. Why not give him a break? It's out of my control. He could go at any moment. But don't worry. The kid with his permanent record is definitely uh -oh. going to have it. Uh-oh. How's the death business going? It's finally slowed down. Now that those rats have shuffled off. But it'd be easier if I didn't have to cover every death myself. An assistant or a partner would help everything. Yeah, that's what you think at first. <laughs> You've got to take care of everybody that dies all by yourself? No, it's not as bad as it sounds. All my travel and expenses are covered. That he, he has to get around a lot, that's for take sure. Take it easy, Harry. Well, it, it's... it. Oh, man. That is kind of pesky, isn't he? Well, it's even worse what we're going to have to do. We're not just going to have to kill him. Well, maybe we don't have to kill him. Maybe we just need to make sure something... Yeah, it's really terrible what we're going to do. Be strong, Timmy. Don't f worry! I feel like I'm bathed in light and floating on a cloud of teen f <laughs> That's so terrible! It's Timmy Two Teeth's permanent record. Looks like he's led a pretty sin-free life. I always knew that kid was all talk and no action. So, um, I don't know if you saw it there, Bug. It may have been after we exited from, uh, from, uh, the kitchen. But Harry w went into the room uh, in Sam and Max's wing uh, at the foul thing, and uh, there was an open one. And it was uh, Jimmy, uh, Timmy's dad's record that we got out of there. Jimmy's permanent record. He's been a bad, bad boy. Hands off that permanent record! By the looks of this kid, I'm gonna be needing that any minute. There's still a chance he'll pull through, right? Uh, sure. Wait, I thought you just, wait, I thought you just said that he couldn't see you. He just said that he couldn't see him. Wow. Good job lying there, uh, Death. So crap, I think we're gonna have to... No way. Nope. Nothing doing. Hands off that permanent... I don't think anyone wants to hear about Stinky's early years. Well, crap. Where are you guys getting enough nitrous to do car upgrades? Bluster Blaster was given laughing gas to ease his suffering after... Wait, you... And the... So long, cops. Stay... Hmm. So we have nitrous. Maybe we can give it to them, possibly? I don't want to waste it. So long, cops. Stay. Hmm. I'm feeling so confused tonight. On this game. Gee, the idea that death is actually Harry Molman makes me think seriously about therapy. Uh, therapy. Is that a hit? Something to do with Sybil? Whee! Since she was a therapist at one point? Hmm. Let's go talk to her again. See if anything has changed. I remember she's playing her wedding. Can we give you anything for the wedding? We kept one of the zombies' arms that fell. That's a lovely offer, but no. Hmm. Good luck, Sybil. Well, this is blue. I don't think anyone wants to hear. This is.
is blue. I don't want to waste... Enjoying all this quality time with Sybil? Please kill me. <laughs> kill me. Please. Oh, we're ha oh wow, we have do we have to really kill him? Don't judge me for this wow. match. It's for his own good. Bless you. Ah. Aha! We couldn't have done that before. We gotta go, right. well, Monster. Harry's distracted now. Monster. Hmm. I've never handled a monster before. I'll have to figure out how this works exactly. Cool. Cool is my reaction. That's He's lost in thought. Reaction. It's not easy to condemn a guy with no soul. Well, Good luck, she has a topic missing now. So now we can switch out uh, the records. It's for your own good, kid. It'll make the eulogy oh. more interesting. <laughs> what did you do? Give that back! Settle down, Kenny. The doctors say if you exert yourself, those stole my. A simple, straightforward death. Let me just look at his file and we can go straight off to... Hello! <laughs> Is that really this kid's file? Harry, please. You can't expect us to do your job for you. I could have sworn it was smaller. Kid must have really been busy on his deathbed. <laughs> you should have seen it. It was like every single letter ever written to Hot Bunny combined into one debaucherous rampage. Oh well, you can tell me about it on the way to hell then. Later. Wow. Wow. <laughs> How are you holding up, Jimmy? I'll just say you <laughs> suck a <laughs> Timmy would have wanted it that way. <laughs> He's in a better place now. Just kidding. He's in hell. Whee! Okay, so now... We should be able to get uh, Stinky, Grandpa Stinky, sorted out. Should be able to. Yikes, don't touch that. It's hotter than a third rail at rush hour. Oh, do we have to use the gumball So machine? there's the gumball machine we... Oh, I would... Oh, train door, oh. Okay, I, I just saw something that looked like an excla exclamation mark. It's like, did I miss something that we could have clicked on? Okay, no, we did. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go back to the cooking show. Probably be different. You yep, actually there. enjoy Stinky's food? Oh no, no, it tastes like Tyrone! Oops, like, well, you know, but we can't resist it. Stinky's a genius. You see, Stinky's cooking speaks to the rat within us all. <laughs> There's Timmy Two Teeth. <laughs> Hiya, Timmy. Is your soul finally at peace? No, I'm not at peace, Mr. Max. I'm f***ing static 
to be on stage with such a genius. Hmm. <laughs> what was that? What is he doing? Calm down, kid. Did you taste her f <laughs> nut log? <laughs> Simply divine. Oh my! Oh no! And the smells. It's like teen. P oh. <laughs> I simply cannot allow this. This show is canceled. Ooh. Well, that was exciting. What? Canceled? You're finally free, Grandpa Stinky. Seeing her denied everything, made to suffer like I suffered. I can't remember when I've been so happy. <laughs> was that a happy ending or not? I just can't tell anymore. <laughs> I can't either. Not with this game. I suppose I should be grateful. But I'm not! Until you reprobates get the rights to my soul, I still can't leave! Cool. That's what I was hoping. I was hoping that doing this stuff would drop the efficiency. Oh, maybe, oh, uh, what is Bosco's issue? He's doing a play. Maybe he maybe if he reads from, uh, Stinky's baby book. I want to show you something. How's that going to save me? How is that going to save me? Okay, well, never mind. I want to show you something. No thanks. Bosco's such a mess. I can't stop watching him. Hmm. I'm not sharing it. I'm gonna have my cup of joe. There's no point if I can't say see you in hell first. <laughs> Very true, very true. No, I might need a snack later. I'm sure we can't use That might make him feel a little lightheaded, but it won't solve his real problem. Hmm. It looks pretty comfy, if you find getting your teeth yanked out of your skull comfy. Nah. Something we can do in the back, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. I'm confused. I feel like we should be able to do more here. But I don't know why. Let's look around the main office. Brady, Brady, Brady. We've taken a tremendous hit in efficiency. Are we going to have to demote you back to hourly? <laughs> no, 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 sir. I'll do better. Hey, Lucifer, we want to talk to you. What? I'm quite busy. Scheduling an appointment with my secretary. Man, Satan's a jerk. Who does he think he is? We're going to have to do some more damage to get his attention. Hmm. I was fixing to say, is that all we need to do? But no, okay. Hi, Brady. Yes. Later, Brady. <clears throat> Let us retire to our wing, Sam. I'd like to take some notes. Okay, well that answers the question. Yeah, I like the hint system. It, it it's pretty it's pretty nice. It doesn't tell you the answer, but it hints pretty hard at it sometimes. But I think it normally gives you it normally doesn't give you the, the quick hint or the or the hard hit at first. Well, there's a car horn. What if we were to 
But we can't use our inventory now. It's everyone we know who's died in the last year. I must have lost count. Okay, so we can't use our nitrous on that thing. What's the hold up, Grandpa? Gun it! This is as fast as it goes, little buddy. We are in hell! Make sure there's nothing we can click on. We can move really fast side to side, we just can't move very fast forward, can we? Is why it was staying because our car is dead. That's why it's in hell. Hmm. I'm really confused. If only I knew. If only I could figure out uh, what toy we need. Oh, we can't do anything. It's here. magically sealed. I didn't think so. It's pumping out those gifts from Santa's workshop. We can't get it as it drops. Yeah, we can't pick it up then. These are the toys that come out of Santa's mm -hmm. chute. Mr. Elf, we'll help. All right. Commando. He should done now. A list of gents. I can do that. He's got. <laughs> hmm. Oh, you would think that these the... are the toys that come out of Santa's yeah, shoe. We, we know that sound. You would think that the uh, acid for blood would immediately make it pick off. Oh, hmm. I'm guessing when it says armor is for chump, that it's saying that uh, he, he needs to be commando. Is what I'm thinking. So I guess Kevlar vest. I'm guessing mech armor and uh, steel armor would immediately be cut out. I guess Kevlar best could be considered not armor? Hmm. Could be the case. Let's try it actually. Hello, mister. We'll help. Alright. A Kevlar sh Done! Now! I can do that. He's got highly caustic out. <laughs> okay. Still recall, dang it. I think Rex Skirmish should be more like me. Naked? Yo! Okay, so Commando is definitely. Yeah, that's the thing. How am I supposed to. So yeah, that's the other issue. How do I need to solve this? Do I need to solve it on on here, or do I need to solve it on Santa's side of it? And how do I know when I'm on the right track? So Commando. Hello, Mr. L. Uh, we'll help. Definitely the right choice. 
Commando. He should done. We'll go with your, with your suggestion, uh, there, I can do uh, bug, uh, with, uh, He's secret <laughs> handbag. So maybe we need to make a really bad toy, and Santa will send it, uh, will not recall it, just for craps and, uh, giggles. Maybe that's the idea. A toy with acid for blood would be bad. A sequin handbag would not be the coolest thing for an action figure, and no, uh, no, like, uh, armor, so. Don't hey, Santa! Up. How about a little target practice? Don't tempt me! Hmm. Do we need to shoot Santa? There's no point if I can't say, see you in hell. Oh, hey! Oh. Dang. I was like, I figured something out! But no, no, didn't. Oh! Oh, dang. Is, ma is a magnetic bug. We found that out in uh, episode one of this season. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up and see what configuration the toy needs to be. Um, season two, episode five, toy. This is going to be a whole thing, daggum it. It's going to be a whole guide. I don't want a whole guide because I don't want to accidentally spoil it for myself. I may have to, though. Uh, toy configuration? Okay. Yeah, I have to look at a whole guide. Let's see here. He released Santa and the Elf. Okay, Santa don't like kids, yeah. Okay. So we've got it right. Hmm. Okay, so it says any attachment is, is good. So cool outfit equals commando style. Or tra And tragic flaw is acid for blood. Wait a second. Oh, what if we shoot the present? Losing blood. Acid. Guess this is the end of old Rex skirmish. Gee, Sam, if you don't like the gift, just say so next time. We have to take out the armor. 
so we can shoot them and do that. Gotcha. Did you come to enjoy my wonderful toys? <laughs> I thought I'd <laughs> never be rid of those blasted tights. Okay, so we fixed both of them at the same time. Oh, listen to that silence. <laughs> it's heaven. Not quite, Santa, not quite. Not quite heaven. Thank you, Sam and Max. You have been very good boys. But as long as Satan owns our souls, we have to stay put. Hmm. Okay. So we're getting almost into the red. Does that change anything? Does that change anything out here? Mr. Bliss, I... Oh, you bless! Yes, I know. <laughs> it's a great risk hiring a sentient bacteria to work for us. But the numbers are making me believe I made a mistake. Oh, don't say that! I still believe you're doing a great job! Oi! Diablo! Not <laughs> you again. Go away. Have a wonderful day! We're not getting that guy's attention until we bring the whole place down. Hmm... Now how can we? Uh, how can Whee! we deal with Do with Bosco? Hmm. Do we have everything we need for Bosco? He said something that there was a play or something. A musical or something that he was that they was doing. I think it was a play. I don't know what we do about the car either. Let's talk to Bosco oh, one more time. Hey, hey there, Bosco. Who's watching you again? Vim! <laughs> yeah, See you really later. Help. No, don't. I don't want anyone watching me. Maybe we need to find stuff that'll distract them, maybe? I'm not sharing it. Or can we shoot them, maybe? There's no point if I can't say... Okay, I think I already tried shooting them. I want to show you something. No thanks. That's... I want to show you something. I got all the show I need right here. So wrong. Hmm. Max, can you get up there and do something? Hey, remember this place? No. That makes none of us. <laughs> Shall we? Let's. What are you fools still doing here? Go get me some real help. Okay, so I'm guessing they're saying that we don't, we can't do anything. Hmm. So what can we do? Okay, let's go back to the guide. Okay, let's be careful not to... Yeah, we took the nitrous. I did that. Oh, dead gummit. Dead gummit. I hate it when I when when, when it's so simple, but it, it's it's stuff that I'm already thinking, but I don't know how to actually do it. So I used the key card, and I was going to use the nitrous. Uh, tank on the file thing, but you can't have your inventory after you go through that stuff. 
but you can do it on this still. Dad gum it. This ought to boost the DeSoto spirit. Wow, the tank just shrunk to the perfect size when I put it in. Now that's efficiency. <laughs> This is as fast as it goes, a little buddy. We are in ah. hell! We have to hit a ramp. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Sam cool. and Max got themselves into another jam. Let's see what happens when old Bosco's demons get a load of this. Oh, I see. We're, we're driving into Bosco. That's something else, I tell you what. <laughs> I'm impressed. And delighted. I sure stand to be away. Oh my god, I'm not being watched. I'm free! Quick, Bosco, let's vamoose or skedaddle, whichever's faster. Vamoose! Hmm. All right, guys! You actually did it. Actually? But that Satan dude still owns my soul. I'm gonna uh, chill here till you work things out with him. Chill in hell. That's, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's good. Not there, Chris. Looks like we've broken hell. Don't worry. We can always raise some more. I'll bet that high and mighty Satan jerk won't be too to busy later, to talk to us now. You have a good day at work tomorrow, man. I was under the impression you were here to increase productivity. Blarg? And yet our efficiency is at an all-time low. How do you explain that discrepancy? Uh, Blarg? Blarg? We haven't been properly introduced. We're Sam and Max. You know, from the statues. Pleased to meet you. I hope you've guessed my name. Yeah, and you better release our pal's souls from hell, because my excitable little friend is getting angry. And I'm angry, too! There's no need for that kind <laughs> of talk. I'll gladly release your friends. Just sign this release. Seems like and a really bad that. idea. Well, gee, Satan. Thanks. Now, just do me a favor and think of the most horrible thing you can imagine. Hmm, okay. N no, wait! Okay. Good. Now, off you go. Hey, what just happened? He traded his soul for that of all your friends. They never read the fine print. Now, Sam like will spend terrifying. eternity in his own personal hell. Okay. Huh, I'm back in the office. This doesn't seem so bad. Right, little buddy? That's right, partner. <laughs> Salmon peepers. So I'm guessing we're gonna have to escape this on our own. Well, I'm guessing we have everything that we need. I really hope we do, because we can't. I'm guessing we can't get out till we get out. Anyway, I will be right back. Go move around for just a couple minutes.
Okay. Time to get out of Sam's hell. Time to cancel the game. Sam and Peepers. Can we just leave? We can't leave okay. now, Sam! It hasn't been eternity yet! <laughs> Well, I'm guessing we're gonna have to kill peepers. Here, let me. Okay. It's kind of bugging me there. Uh, half that emoji being uh, being uh, out of the uh, thing, out of the. One of these days, thing. we're gonna finish that game. But I don't like darts, Sam. They're dangerous. <laughs> Max, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> peepers' trash is substantially less interesting than Max's. Well, this will be interesting. Oh, not as interesting as I think. Don't bother. The line's dead. Get it? Dead? Tons aren't so pretty when you're on the receiving end. Cause we're in hell. <laughs> I was wondering. It's been a while since the soda poppers have been have been around. When were they last there? The first episode of the season, I think. Remember taking out Brady Culture? Not really. Those two soda poppers did all the work. <laughs> Rhythmic accompaniment, no matter how sensational, can't help me now. It's taunting me with its precariousness. Uh, do you ever take baths in this thing? Of course, Sam. Hygiene is very important. I'll take one right now. Oh, no. There shall be no singing of bears in hell. Smile Timber. Seems like only today it was Gabriel. Wanna watch TV, little buddy? Too much TV is bad for your eyes. <laughs> Let's sort our change instead. Have mercy. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. Well, that's a bad place for it. Next time, try an electronic store. The agony. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's a bone saw. Hey, a bone saw. Gosh, I hope I can find someone's bones to cut. That desk belongs to Max. What is this word you keep saying? Max. My desk stands by me through thick, thin, and everything else. There's arsenic. Arsenic. Okay. I know just the person for this. It's past the expiration date, Sam. Totally unusable. Spoiled poison. That's the worst. I was just gonna say, um, does that hinder its, its ability, or does that actually make it safe if, if it expires? Empty. There shall be no quenching of thirst in hell. Boring even in the afterlife. Hey, Mariachis. What's the matter? Frog got your throat? Oh, Sam, your plays on words are so delightful. Max never would have let me get away with that joke. <laughs> it's busted. There shall be no letting off of steam in hell. Peepers, peepers everywhere. Should we fire up the old model volcano? Not indoors. It's messy. No hellish rats here. Let's look at. Hey, the files have been organized. Chalk one up for Satan. Okay. <laughs> Leonard? Not you, too. <laughs> okay, when Max gets here, we're gonna set you free. Shh, shh, don't tell anyone. Good. <laughs> I don't think we're actually setting I wish Dick Dale would hurry up and die so we could get some good surf rock around here. Oh, hey. Boxing Betty, we have the remote control for Boxing Betty. I wonder why we didn't run into any of the toy mafia down here. I guess they're not popular enough. Hmm. A kinder, gentler hue. This will make a perfect housewarming gift for the next president. It's the brain of Abraham Lincoln. We were saving food for the apocalypse. I just didn't expect it to come so soon. Oh yeah, we didn't get to look in the closet last episode, did we? The amazing regenerating fro. 
Okay, so, I, so we're gonna have to use that. Stop! Do not look outside! Hey, Sam! How's it going in there? Max, I remember now. You're my partner. <laughs> well, duh. You've got to come in here, little buddy. It's the most horrible thing ever. Sounds fun, Sam, but I'm too big to fit in the hole. <laughs> hey, Sam, listen to this. It's funny. That's what she said. <laughs> ah, get me out of here. Wait, what's wrong with that, Joe? What's going on out there? After everybody saw what Satan did to you, it got pretty awkward. I don't like hell when it gets all tense like this. The office just isn't the same without you, Max. I'm bored out here, too. <laughs> Can you believe that Satan guy tricking me like that? Let's stack onion rings on his horns and throw them in the pit where they keep the gluttonous. It's that kind of thinking outside the box that makes me wish you were my partner. <laughs> Peepers keeps telling me he's my partner. What? Nobody tries to steal my sidekick! I always thought you were the sidekick. <laughs> oh, sure thing, Sam. Don't go anywhere, Max. Relax, Sam. <laughs> You're getting all weird on me. Okay, so we can talk to Max. That's cool. <laughs> Where's the rest of the noose collection, peepers? Who would keep nooses in an office? That's just silly. Must get Max. Never thought I'd see his ugly mug again. Okay, so let's talk to Peepers and then we'll what start are you doing, doing here? stuff. What are you talking about? I'm your partner and best friend. But, but... Stop being so silly and let's work on our next case. Didn't I used to have a, a likable partner? That's ridiculous! I've always been your best friend. And I always will be forever! That's frightening. Didn't I used to have... Oh. You're one of those crafty demons, aren't you? Of course not! We've been pals since we were little! We used to take baths together! Ugh. I think we should spend more time apart, Peepers. Don't say that! I'll always be here for you, Sam! What case are we working on? Don't you remember? The commissioner wants us to investigate the proposed bill on income tax reform. <laughs> it's fascinating. Sounds like a good way to go to sleep. Well then, let's be off on our new case. We can't leave without doing extensive research, silly. Oh, all right. <laughs> you uh, crack me up, little buddy. But I didn't say anything funny. Okay. Nah, the last time we did that, she went nuts and bit off the president's ear. Okay. Well, dang. There, there goes that idea. Missed. Satan must have messed up my aim to torment me. But you're a lousy shot in real life, too. I said, Satan must have messed up my aim. <laughs> I can't die, Sam. It's one of the perks of having me for a partner. Sounds like a terrible perk. Oh, let's look at the pictures. These photos have been doctored. <laughs> that never happened. It's magically sealed. We could have missed the coffee cup, so I don't think that'll I'm not be sharing a Because it is, it is possible that we could have missed it. Tar cake, we've had the whole time. And that's one of the few... Well, what if we were to... Not happening. 
Oh, a bone saw. What, what can we use this on? I only want to use it on things with bones. I'm a... Um, littered. I think he likes his bones the way they are. Unfortunately, this is a 12-gauge bone saw, and he's clearly 9-gauge. I'm small bone, but I've got a big heart! Where's a heart saw when you need one? <laughs> what if we were to pass it to Max? I only want to use it on things with bones. I'm a bone saw purist. Max! Right here! Don't leave! Hmm. Can we pass anything? That's one of the... Uh, off to him, maybe? Nah. No way. <laughs> Nothing doing. Well, actually... Can we pick up the boxing baby doll? She's still wanted in three states. Hey. At least the internet didn't come back to life. Not even Satan would stoop that low. <laughs> hmm. I only want to use it on things. Hey, Mariachis. What's the matter? Oh, bam, you're... Max... I don't think anyone wants to hear about stinky. Hmm. I can't reach it. Satan just put it there to torment me. Well, I said we can't really use it with things with bones. anything else with bones here. And that's one of the few things that's not better with tar. <laughs> Maybe let's try that with the arsenic, possibly? And that's one of the few... Or the benang, possibly? And that's one of the few... Yeah, I think I tried using a coffee cup with the arsenic. No. Nah. Oh, open window. It looks so real, but it can't be. Okay, I didn't think so. I didn't think there'd be anything there. Same. Just realized that we hadn't looked at the uh, out the window. It's something really simple. I just know it. It, it is. We tried the boxing baby thing. We used the remote owner. No way. Let's try using all our items on the... On, uh... No, that wouldn't do it. Oh, let's see. Ooh. Hey, Max, look alive. What do I do with this? Don't eat it. Just get in here. Max, meet Demon Peepers. Oh, hi! Demon Peepers here says he's my partner and best friend. <laughs> hey there! What are you... Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Leonard. That was some of your best work ever, Max. I'm particularly proud of what I did around the carotid artery. 
Yes, excellent <laughs> grouping. Shall we motor? Let's! Okay, I was about to look it up. I'm, I'm glad I... I'm glad I thought of that. What the devil? That hell was practically inescapable. Sorry, Satan. Your demon imposter was no match for the true power of friendship and cooperation. Plus, I ripped out his kidneys. <laughs> well, this does put me into a bit of a pickle. Management will have my head over this. Management? Who could possibly be more horrible and universally reviled than Satan? So, you finally figured it out. Sure took you long enough. I take it you already know my bosses. Whoa, no! What a twist. These fools have been essential to our plans! But how did you but get... You can't and when did you... Satan. And how what long have you got against us? And what did we do? Please, one mm. question at a time. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. I, forgot, I had forgot about that. And I was just mentioning about how they hadn't really been in, in, uh, in here since uh, the first uh, episode of the season. How did you guys go from minor annoyances to become rulers of hell? You still don't get it? Hate is the real power! We thought nothing could be worse than former child stars. But that was before we beat Brady culture to death and realized we were destined for much greater evil. It just felt so right! So we began to commit greater atrocities on the world. Reality television. Politics. <laughs> the intelligent design movement. A civil war. Each step made us more hated and more powerful. Hmm. What did we ever do to you? You only ruined our birthday. It was one year ago today. You thwarted my journey to evil pop stardom. And you gave me <laughs> severe diarrhea. And these glasses aren't cheap. And worst of all, the mariachis never came to sing for us. <laughs> wow, who knew the princes of hell would be such whiny little babies? Okay. So you meant to get Santa possessed by a demon? No, that was a clerical error. We thought some corporate efficiency would help Satan get his act together. But it seems he'll always be antiquated and useless. You know I'm standing right here. <laughs> we did mean to kill that elf, though. Okay. What makes you guys think you'll be better at running hell than Satan is? The old ways are dying. It's time to bring evil into the 21st century. <laughs> our subcontracting and outsourcing of soul capture and processing has increased our efficiency tenfold. But we still have to convince the shareholders to believe in hell as a relevant player in the afterlife. Current marketplace realities and underlying economic considerations mean we have to downsize. Satan, we kept you on staff for sentimental reasons. But your performance continues to disappoint. But if you'll give me another chance... <laughs> what? Clean out your desk and don't come back! Wow. Sheesh. That was fun! So, I'm, I am a little confused. So, were they evil the whole time? But not, not the rulers of hell? Or were they rulers of hell the whole time? I'm guessing they were just evil the whole time and somehow became rulers of the underworld. I don't, I don't, that's the part I'm not, I don't get. Cause that would be, yeah, that'd be quite strange. Then again, they did work for Brady Culture. And he, and he is moving up down there. So moving up down there, <laughs> what a strange thing to say. So yeah. Hmm. We've heard quite enough, thank you. Very well. Now that you've helped us depose Satan, there's nothing stopping us from continuing our agenda for domination of the infernal realms! Thanks, Sam and Max. We couldn't have done it without you! First action item, seducing a human woman and conceiving the new Hellspawn. <laughs> I'm all over it! 
Second, tempting humanity to repeat the original sin. I've got it covered. And finally, winning a new modern soul over to hell. Because of the technical skill required, I'll be handling that one, obviously. Thanks for all your help, Sam and Max. <laughs> wow, I think unwittingly bringing about the apocalypse is a first for us, little buddy. Mm, huh? Oh, sorry, I completely zoned out there. Did they say anything important? Never mind. <laughs> Okay, so, interesting. We're gonna have to stop that stuff. Hi, Brady. Yes. So not only did the poppers beat you in the ratings, they beat you to death. Wow, you just gotta <laughs> laugh. I said laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Later, That's Brady. <clears throat> hey, buddy. What about that time Jimmy Hoffa said, ride the bucking surfboard? Oh, okay. Later, you bliss. No. no, he was bleeping out there at the uh, at a hey, Max. show. It doesn't seem fair that the Poppers could get their own kingdom just for being annoying and widely despised. I think it's just more proof that the system works! <laughs> I don't know if Satan really deserved to be fired. His performance has been on the decline for a while now. Yeah, I guess that's what you get for peaking too early in your career. <laughs> I heard that now Idi Amin's in charge of HR. There's gonna be some serious layoffs. Well, I heard that the Marquis de Sade was getting a demotion for what happened at the Christmas party. <laughs> See you in hell, Max. What if Jürgen has anything new to say since we've uh, got him in So box. then I says to Gunther, I says, Gunther! <clears throat> yes? Did you see where Satan went? Where all the husbands go, I imagine. Such disrespect for the Prince of Darkness! <laughs> Prince of Darkness is more like it. Dang. Call the poppers back here. They are they on a very important meeting right now. If you want to talk to them, you have to find them for yourselves. You've got to help us get Satan back in charge. <laughs> Why would I do that? With that fossil out of the way, I'm next in line for the promotion at the next shareholders meeting. Wish me luck! Right or not? Why didn't you tell us the poppers were your bosses? I thought it was obvious! You actually think someone could be as mean and despicable as that by accident? <laughs> you are so slow! <laughs> See you later, well, Jorgen. Yeah, That's for sure. sure. Mm. So anyway, then I says... Okay, nothing new here. Hmm. So, Bosco will hopefully be gone. Or back, uh, back to life, anyway. Yeah, he's gone, okay. This is what happens to babies that get... You don't need that, dude. No, I think so. We didn't need the bone saw to get out. What stopped us from possibly leaving that? Or maybe it would have been in our office when we get back in there. Be a possibility too. Actually, now I think about it. Ooh, our car's moving. I see it back hey, there. Hey, pals, come on in. We're throwing one hell of a bachelor party for Lincoln in here. Party? I haven't been paying you to party. I spent <laughs> 40 years tracking down the man who trashed my store, hiring the best private investigators. It's time you tell me where he is. Tell me where he is. Well. There he is. 
Bosco. <laughs> Mama? You mean you never thought to mention that your suspect was my son? I thought it was obvious. You're <laughs> the one who's been after me all this time? It was all just a simple misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is pretty daffy. A lifetime of persecution, all just a simple misunderstanding. Hope you're not mad, baby. We all go a little mad sometimes, Mother. Run along to the bunker, and I'll be in later with your dinner. I'm a ghost, baby. I don't eat dinner. Just do it! Bye, Sam and Max. Well, now that case is wrapped up. I'm off to the party. You coming, Bosco? Party? Oh, hell yeah! Well, we rescued think, Bosco, Bosco from hell. Just as crazy as when we no. left him. Maybe even crazier! Yeah, yeah, crazier. Oh, and I see our car moving. So good. Oh, there, there's, uh, there's a devil there. Hiya, Satan. How's it hanging, old Scratch? The financial situation is quite dire, I'm afraid. I did wash your windshield for you. Oh, I, I uh, must have left my change in my other suit. That's terrible. Max? I'm naked. Yeah. <laughs> well. We hope you're not still angry at us for getting you fired and everything. Angry? You destroyed my entire life and unleashed an unspeakable evil on the earth. All out of carelessness and a desire for personal gain. I invented that. I couldn't <laughs> be more proud. How's the hunt for a new job going? A few nibbles, but nothing promising. I'm expecting a call from Rupert Murdoch next week. Any suggestions on how to stop the poppers? Oh, so we're stopping them now, are we? I just assumed, since you spent so much time helping them... Geez, Satan, we said we were sorry. Or at least thought it real hard. Oh, very mm. well. I began to lose power when people stopped taking me seriously. Too many comical football mascots and cartoon depictions on deviled ham. If you can ruin their plans, make them appear ineffectual, I'll be able to stage a corporate takeover. Hmm. The poppers are stealing all of your material. Yes, and from my glory days at that. If they're successful with this first round, they'll be unstoppable. Wizard made me do it, just doesn't have the same ring. <laughs> we never expected that getting you fired would leave you with nothing. Yeah. After all these years, you should at least have a retirement fund. No, my golden parachute was just this cardboard box of all my possessions, I'm afraid. I feel somewhat foolish <laughs> considering the billions of insurance salesmen and investment bankers I've met over the centuries. <laughs> Can we get you a blanket or something? Might I trouble you to crash on your couch? It's just me in the box. Oh, um, uh... We want to help you to help yourself. <laughs> I don't think that's a. Uh, I, don't think that's, I don't think that would be a roommate you'd want. I don't think. Stay strong, Satan. You'll make it through this. You're a survivor. Hmm. Can we borrow some of your stuff, Satan? Well, I suppose so. I was hoping to sell it on eBay, but I've received no bids. You know, your screen name, Father of Lies 666, might have something to do with that. Let's see here. <laughs> One super long barbed paperclip chain. And the poppers said you weren't being productive. Snack sized bag of pork rinds. Great taste from the great deceiver. And one grocery list, written on company letterhead. I know you're the source of all evil, but wasting office supplies for personal use? That's just wrong. <laughs> oh crap, we got a lot of inventory now. Oh, we can go in Stinky's Diner now. Okay, that's new. We use only the Precious ingredients in our popper's own forbidden fruit of knowledge cider. One sip, and for the first time, 
You know the difference between good and evil. I don't know. I've heard some bad things. Ah! Our competitors are just afraid that if you start selling this, you'll become too successful. I don't need to tell you the advantages of an exclusive beverage distribution deal, seeing as how you're mm -hmm. such a savvy businesswoman. <laughs> oh, we got both of them there now. Okay. The decor is ingenious. No matter how many times I come in, I just have to look at these things again. <laughs> they're all wizard now. Wizards really captured the heart and mind of Stinky. Must look at decor. Give it up, wizard. She don't want what you're selling. Mm -hmm. Mind your own business. Stinky is beautiful and intelligent enough to make her own decisions. Okay. There's root fruit cider. Oh, we can take some of it. Cool. Uh, so we're going to have to do something with it. I see, I see. What's up, Stinky? Oh, good. It's Virgil and Ulysses. Actually, it's... Maybe you two can give me some advice. Mm. Mr. Wizard's offer sounds very tempting. Now, it all comes down to your per-bottle cut. Don't accept anything less than 10% <laughs> for the first year with quarterly renegotiations. Done. Shut up, Max. Hmm, yeah, that's I'm not really still helpful. not sure. Whatever he offers, don't take that deal, Stinky. Well, it could bring a lot of new business. But once people know the difference between good and evil, they'll never want to eat here again. <laughs> Welcome back from hell, Stinky. Oh, I'm back from hell, am I? And here I was, thinking that she was still here, acting like she owns the place. Must have just been my imagination. You're alive and back from hell, making awful food again. What's the problem? She's the problem! Of course, I don't have to explain the benefits of exclusive distribution channels to someone with your experience. Look at him, sucking up to her when he should be sucking up to me! <laughs> Making the moves on an attractive woman instead of a grizzled old man. Weird! Go ahead and <laughs> laugh while she scuttles my life's work. What is it with you and girl Stinky anyway? Is she really your granddaughter? More or less. She was my protege, my most promising student. I taught her everything I know about the culinary dark arts. And this is how she thanks me! The hubris! I don't know. Girl Stinky's been doing a pretty good job of making the restaurant almost as awful as you used to. Yeah, and she does great things with trichinosis. So she's <laughs> tricked you onto her side, too. If everybody could see her for what she really is, then things would be different. Hmm. Really bad things will happen if you take that deal with Wizard. Don't tell me. Apparently she's the one in charge here. She doesn't appreciate our advice for some reason. Bah! She never did have my business sense. One slick sales pitch and she folds like an origami crane. Come on, Stinky. You've got to get over your grudge and convince her not to take that deal. Eh, she won't listen to anyone until... Hmm... I know what'll do it. Find her baby book and bring it to me. There Remind her where she came from. That'll knock her down a peg or two. That we can Stay do. Strong, we got that. Stinky. Hey, Grandpa Stinky. We found Stinky's baby book. Good, good. Quick, read page 33. Well, I'm going to take the things put a cover on it. Don't put it in here. Out loud, you cretin. <laughs> oh, uh, let's see. Fish sticks, tar, coffee, ice cream. What kind of baby book is this anyway? It's a cookbook! The name of the recipe! Read the name! The Cake of the Damned. Huh? What? what? <laughs> That'll teach her. Well, maybe you, good sir, would like to hear more about the delicious forbidden fruit of knowledge cider. Oh no. What have I done? Hmm. 
Okay. Stinky's the last person I would have figured was secretly a cake. That wasn't expected. We What's have going on here, Stinky? Hello, my friends. Stay a while and listen. What turned you friendly so quickly? I've made a terrible mistake. You've got to help me get her back. You old coot. You tricked us into making Girl Stinky disappear. Uh, she didn't disappear. She's still there. When you read her true name, you revealed her true form. Her true form? Is she a demon or something? In a sense, I suppose. She's the most diabolical recipe ever created. The Cake of the Damned. Oh, wow. How do we undo your evil spell and get Girl Stinky back to normal? You've got to do what I did that fateful night. The Cake of the Dam was only the first step. I knew that to take the dish from just evil to purely diabolical, it would need more. An appetizer! So I added... Spare ribs. Blasphemy! <laughs> the next thing I knew, she appeared. The rib is the key. Okay. Serve us up an order of short ribs, Stinky. Ah, if I could find any, I would have already done it myself. With this barbecue convention going on, good luck finding anybody in the city with spare ribs. <laughs> so we're gonna have to get some real. We have some tar. Whatever you do, Grandpa Stinky, that was don't let Wizard tempt you into making that deal. Don't listen to them. They're just jealous of your experience and wise life choices. Aye, right, well he does have a point there. You really think a guy dressed like that knows about wise life choices? <laughs> uh, you're right, of course. Look at me. As weak an old fool as I've ever been. The girl always was better at keeping her head about her, much as I hate to admit it. Stay strong, Stinky. Don't leave me alone with him. We do have a bone saw now that I'm thinking about it. Hmm. And that's one of the few things that's not better with time. So I'm gonna try it anyway, just see what would happen. Well. We need some ribs somewhere. Can't take, yeah, we can't take any of that. Hmm. Let's go over and see if they'll put nitrous on our car. Hmm. Well, 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 Spex. Just what do you think you're doing here? I'm going to do what Satan never had the skills to attempt. I'm going to win the soul of a computer. <laughs> ha! You talk big now, but wait until you've heard me play. <laughs> Beat that! You can do it. Play like you've never played before. That <laughs> sucked! Yeah. Well then, I'll just be taking... Oh, but there's a technicality. Right. Subclause 48, Section 5 in the contract clearly states that entities running at less than 8 megahertz are entitled to infinite do-overs. I don't remember reading that. Oh, Spax, a perfectionist like you, and you didn't even bother to read the details of the contract? Well, all right, it doesn't matter. I'll still win. Hmm. So we're going to have to make him be able to play music good. Interesting. I don't know how we're going to do that. No clue how we do that. Hey, cops, what's shaking? Spex has challenged us to a musical contest. First prize, a solid gold violin. Second prize, eternal damnation. <laughs> Who'd be <laughs> stupid enough to take on that kind of challenge? We cannot talk him out of it. <laughs> You've got to stop this fiddle-playing contest. Think about it. 
How humiliating would it be to lose your soul to Specs? We're sorry, but there's just no talking him out of it! He keeps saying that he is the best that has ever been. <laughs> He's got four whole kilobytes of unbridled arrogance. Okay, let's try to upgrade our car. We want to upgrade our car. We're sorry, but your car already has the nitrous upgrade installed. He's just afraid to go near me. Okay. Why are you guys afraid of our DeSoto? When your car returned from hell, it came back processing. Wrong. Can't you do anything for the car? We're not going near that infernal thing. <laughs> it's evil. <laughs> evil. <laughs> so long, cops. Stay virtuous! I'm gonna save the game. It's been a little bit since I've saved it. Okay, yeah, I hadn't saved it at all from that, have I? <laughs> Well, let's see what we can do with our car. We don't have the big calendar back here. Anything we can do with it? Maybe? The DeSoto uh -huh. seems different somehow. I think I'll just walk for now. Hmm. Well, that's one of the few things... That's one of the few. Hmm. No siree. Okay, well, there's still a lot more we can look at. Let's go with symbols right now. Don't know if anybody be there. I know they, uh, they were saying there was a big party at Bosco's. Oh, baby. I'm gonna be loving you all night long. <sighs> Max, what's our situation? Peepers is making the move on Sybil. She's totally into it. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure my dementia hasn't kicked in early. <laughs> you can forget all about those stone face. Peepers is the only man you need. Oh, peepers. That's not something I want to see. I won't say that. I don't really want to see that. Go away, peepers. Sybil, pay attention. What? Huh? Snap out of it, Sybil. It's... it's peepers! I know it is, but I've just never seen him this way before. Oh, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of me, baby. Show some dignity, Sybil. But he's just... dreamy. It's like for the first time, I'm seeing him for who he really is. What about your wedding? Don't forget about Abe. Abe who? Oh, Lincoln. Right. I haven't forgotten. I've just... I'm still single tonight, alright? Wow. Dang. What happened to the monster? Oh, is he gone? I wasn't paying attention. Said something about Abe's bachelor party. Try to stay chaste, Sybil. Mind your own business. Okay, so that's not how he actually is. Okay. Oh, lady, you making me all tingly in my... Hey, peepers. What? You may have Sybil fooled, but we can see what you truly are. Evil will reign! You must not disturb the vessel! Cake at a wedding? Okay. Hmm. That doesn't look hungry. That would just fuse the jaws of all the wedding goers, which would be funny, except I'll be one of them. <laughs> nuh -uh.
There's a lot in this game. This 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 one is more definitely more involved than the others. That's for sure. Hmm. Let's go to the party. Let's see what that's about. So that's all three soda pops I've shown it for. Okay. Whee! Hmm. We might can go in our in our office too. Hey guys, you're just in time for the stripper. Ho <laughs> <laughs> boy! <laughs> oh god! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo Don't shake that money maker. Take it off! Take it all off! Yeah! Woo! Woo now that's what I'm talking about! Woo Ooh, yeah! Work it! Work it! Uh-huh! All right! I knew women were hard to find in our neighborhood, but I didn't think it was this bad. <laughs> you people should be ashamed. It's a living. Okay, well that was unexpected. And why is Bosco naked? Bosco, we freed you from your personal hell. You don't have to be naked anymore. Oh, that wasn't part of my hell. I just like to be naked. And I'm not the only one who should be naked. Woo! Oh, he, he was just scared of being on stage Ditch being the watched. Bod. What are you doing here? Okay. You're not one of Lincoln's friends. I'm taking bets on which one of these amateur drinkers is going to pass out first. You ought to be ashamed, Jimmy. That's just wrong. 50 bucks on the chicken! What? <laughs> Man, I need a better agent. I can't even get into surveillance photos these days. <laughs> Hey, why aren't there any new magazines? And don't give me the old I was in hell excuse. I was in hell! He told you not to give him that! <laughs> oh, I right. hope Bosco's remembering to separate his recyclables. Whee! Mr. Featherly. Oh, a Salmon Max. Uh, you, you better, better not have a cow in there! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll show you who's hiding a cow. Another celebrity meltdown. Shut up. You don't know my world. Okay. Yeah, baby. Honest Abe, after all you and Sybil have been through, you got a stripper? Look, fellas, I'm marrying Sybil tomorrow. Today, I got needs, just like any other giant stone head. All right! Look at that. I guess that ain't that. the name they're drinking. This place is a dive. Dive! <laughs> no bombs here, unless you count this party. <laughs> Wee! Never Wee! use an enlarger with a stripper in the room. <laughs> this party's as lame as a three legged cat with two legs. He said, the party's lame. Maybe Take your body off. There's nothing in here I want to see any closer. <laughs> what do you know? T-H-E-M really were listening. Hey, some new squiggles. Way to go, Robo. I hate it when people can't be bothered to keep their conspiracy plots current. Is this the last we'll see of Bosco's paranoia? I hope yeah, not, because it's very entertaining. What's an unearthly horror like you doing in a place like this? I'm not a horror. I'm a dancer. Don't we kill them, though? It's a cooler full of punch. 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 I wonder what they're keeping in the freezer these days. I hope it's not the body of the last stripper. <laughs> Flint, you of all people should see how wrong this is. Ah, take a powder, Chaplin. Take off your hi hat and get a gander at the floor show. Hmm. Woohoo! Wee! With a cryogenic freezer, the party never has to stop. Hmm. Wee! So get the cooler. Ah! This ought to add some kick to their punch.
Well, boys, another round? Oh, dear. Oh, my. Oh, no. I'm naked. I'm naked. <laughs> I'm naked. Oh, <laughs> I thought we were all just saying that. <laughs> what have I done? I'm so ashamed. Oh, that ruined Here the party. They all realize what they were I doing. I should have known hiring a budget stripper was a bad idea. Cool your heels, flat top. The show's over, but I was just getting started. I knew it. There is no use for me. Conga line, who's with me? I am. Wow. I should say we could use a reel, though. I hope you've given up the degrading exotic dancing career. Yes, I suppose now I just have to let this body go to waste. Can we? Maybe we can get it. Do you mind if we perform some quick elective surgery? Oh, cool. Whatever. Yeah. I'm just a monster with no soul. Who cares about my feelings? Great, thanks! <laughs> a fool and his bones are soon parted. I got a rib. Let's, let's look, oh, let's what have I button. done? Oh, if the paparazzi catches me wearing not but a scarf, I must... I must contact wardrobe immediately. That's what you... Wait, has he been wearing more than a scarf? I can't remember. Sybil's the only one for me. Not monster strippers. No. <laughs> These guys go through drinks fast. It's a cooler full of punch. Okay, nothing different there. Have you finally come to your senses, Flint? Somebody put a Mickey Finn in the happy juice, Sam, and I'm gonna find out who. Right after my head stops pounding. <laughs> don't look at me! Oh, I don't feel so good. No, it is kind of bad that he, uh... I like how the, I just realized that the uh, things go up when they walk through. No detectors. Um, as far as Jimmy though, uh, Jimmy goes. I'm noticing that he goes to a party right after his his. Uh, oh, this kid is back. Okay, never mind. How are you feeling, Timmy? Oh, I feel like shit on a s Good. <laughs> what are you doing here? Mr. Maintron's looking after me until Daddy gets back from his party. We're playing song lyric trivia. Mr. Maintron's almost as good as me. The boy cheats. <laughs> what are you doing here? Mr. Maintron's looking after me. Oh. The boy. Are you completely cured now? The doctors say I'm all better, but I've still got my f***ed up condition. <laughs> Are you old enough to write, Timmy? Oh, f yeah! I've been in the hospital so much that Daddy's been homeschooling me. So far, I've learned to write ampersands, asterisks, <laughs> number signs, and exclamation points. Yeah, he uh, he won't be able to write very well. Glad to be back from hell. Oh yeah! I'm just disappointed the soda pop has never showed up at the hospital. It was my dying wish to see him, because I'm their biggest fan ever! Wow. No, Timmy, that's wrong! Max is right. The poppers are evil, wicked creatures. And besides, I'm their biggest fan ever! <laughs> <clears throat> Ask me anything about them. Hmm. How old is Specs? He's officially nine years old, because he was born on a leap day. Sorry, Mr. Max, but I'm just too f***ing good. Okay, so he's gonna have to. We're gonna have Max to know this information. Do your worst. In episode 205, The Joy of Specs, what was the name of Wizard's urologist? Is that a trick question? Because in that episode, Wizard saw a gastroenterologist, Dr. Thundercolon. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Thundercolon. Max is the king of Popper's trivia. Do your worst. <laughs> What's Peeper's real name? Easy. Everybody
Everybody knows his name is What was that? I said his name is Sorry, Mr. Mac, but I'm just too good. Hmm. Max is the king of Do you? How many times has Wizard been married? Four times. Gotcha! It's... Let me finish. Four times total, but one was annulled, and another was declared unconstitutional by the Supreme Court. <laughs> you lose again! Wow. Max... Do... Okay, that's, that is all the information. What's... See you later, Timmy. Have a... Sh Wait a second. Are we going to have to maybe... Is he Bliss going to be somewhere around? And are we going to have to somehow make him... Wait, no, he's going to still be in hell. So he won't be anywhere else. Like, sometimes we can still go there. Yeah, we can still go there. Hmm. I was thinking, maybe we need to somehow figure out a way to... Hmm. Censored him. Well, maybe it's something that sounds like a bad word, but not. Uh, Got a minute? No, idiots. I am engaged in a song trivia contest with this precocious rat child. Guess it's better to say goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. Who? <laughs> Somebody's blocking our office door from the inside. I'm guessing that's information we're gonna need though. Like if he has a really, really terrible Several. name. Pay attention. What? Try to stay Mind your oh, We'll find some way to Leave this place! Hmm. Okay, well we got that. We can we can uh, we can do the thing with the reel. Sam turned you back into a cake, but then oh, we... whatever. Look, Mr. Wizard, thanks for taking all this time to talk to us, but we're not interested. Mm. But if you just... The lady said we ain't interested. Then maybe you. I believe the two of us have made ourselves clear. Ah, fine then. It's too good for you just anyway. And stay gone! Looks like you two mm. have learned an important lesson about cooperation. Fine. You going to order something? You can't just offer something, woman. You got to push the specials. I think I can do fine without your input, Grandpa. Oh, you can, <laughs> can you? Okay, well, we got that sorted out. So one of them's been taken care of. So, Stinky, why have you been lying to us all this time? What? I've never lied about anything. <laughs> Specs gave me the answers to that trivia contest. Do you mean to tell me Herbert Hoover really was president? <laughs> nah, we meant all that bunk about your history. You never told us you were a golem made from cake and fish sticks. She doesn't know, lads. And let's keep that our secret. Didn't we just tell her? I thought we just told her. And all this time, we thought you'd kill Grandpa Stinky. That's ridiculous. I could never kill anyone. Well, glad that's settled. Why don't you have Sal fix us up some horrible meal? Sal? Who's Sal? Glad to see you two are back and working together again. Harlot! Relic! <laughs> How's it going, Stinkies? Just fantastic! Nothing brings in the hip, young clientele like a 
crotchety, centuries-old, tattooed, hairy man. Well, why don't you have another trivia contest? There's a fresh and original idea. Are you gonna stick around, Grandpa Stinky? Of course. Stinky's cuisine is in my blood. And vice versa. With my cooking <laughs> skills and her taste for decor, we'll make this the most horrible dining experience known to creation! Indeed. Cooperation is beautiful. Glad to see you two are back and working together again. Coot! Troll up! How did you reveal Stinky's true form? I told you, she was always a cake of the damned. When you read her true name, you revealed her true form. Hmm. Stay strong, Stinky. So I got one of them took care of. So good. Now we just gotta deal with specs and, and uh, peepers. Which I'm not sure how to do. But I'm gonna be right back. I should not be going for long. All right. Mm, let me check something. Okay. Max may have given some hints actually while I was while I had walked away. Just realized that. Save it again. Let's use our let's use that remote control on that window. Wait, no, 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 that's right. We used that remote control on the robot, didn't we? Here I go again, on my own. Oh, what if we uh, challenge Specs? Uh... Shout, shout, shout at the devil. Oh. Talk about mud flaps, my gals got them. I eat, I eat, I... He's a man of wealth and taste. Hmm. 
Can we get the thing out of her? What, what's his grocery list? Let's actually look at that. It's Satan's grocery list. Cantaloupe, melons, chicken breasts, oregano, vanilla, and soda. Okay. The first three are kind of interesting. They kind of share a common um, something. The <laughs> common theme. Can we throw anything that in the doesn't Easy, easy now! You can do this, Sam! I believe in you! Steady, steady! Good hands! Give me the old one, too! It's so close, I can taste it! Easy, easy. Oh! Shut up, Max! We got a copy of Mom Sweeper. Okay. That was actually just me trying something. That was rather lucky. Mom Sweeper. Well, that have Can we do anything with that? Maybe to make them. <laughs> make sure you read the license agreement first, Sam. It's <laughs> very important. Just start playing. I think I saw the face of God. <laughs> You've got to admit it, Specs. <laughs> you just got served like big ziti at a mafia wedding. I don't know what that means, but I don't care. You will pay for this, Sam and Max. <laughs> okay, well, that don't was be it. sad. What would you do with a golden fiddle anyway? When this case is over, Max and I will come back to teach you guys about bling. Okay. So that took care of that. Cool. Now what do I do about papers? Let's go back and talk to Hugh Blitz. Let's see if maybe we can get... Distract Hugh Bliss and Brave Get Sensor. Because I'm guessing Peeper's real name sounds like a bad word. That's what I'm guessing, and it's Hugh Bliss censoring us. That's what I'm thinking. Hey, buddy. What about that time Jimmy Hoffa said, ride the Buckin' surfboard? Buckin' is not on the list. Sorry. Oh. Later, Hugh Bliss. We gotta adjust the list. It's a list of swear words. <laughs> and... Hmm. Max, distract oh, Mr. Bliss for me. That's hmm, awesome. I seem to be completely naked. Oh dear. Hope I don't have to bend over provocatively to. That's enough, Max. <laughs> okay. So now we can find out uh, Peepers' real name. Now it'll be kind of scary to uh, to um, um, listen to. Uh, oh my gosh, Timmy! My brain's leaving me. It's getting late. It's almost two in the morning.
Yeah, this is the longest episode by far. Okay, where are we go? Oh yeah, we need to go and speak to uh, Tiny Tim. Kind of scared. <laughs> yep. How are you feeling, Timmy? Better than I ever have in my whole darn life. Shoot! Nuts! Fudge balls! I still got the Tourette's, but that weird ringing in my ears has finally gone away! Really, is that what he's been saying? <sighs> Sorry we ruined your dad's fancy casino, champ. Ah, that place was a real doo-doo hole anyway. <laughs> I like having a robot alive. Because he flippin' loves trivia, just like I do. And he's got an irreverent, in-your-face attitude, just like Daddy. You're my best friend, you little imbecile. Ah, there's nothing more heartwarming than the love of a rat for his abusive robot pal. Max is the king of Popper's trivia. Bring it up! Peeper's real name. What's Peeper's real name? Easy! It's Dick Peacock. Ah! You lose again! <laughs> no wonder we had to get to where uh, nobody was censored. See Dick you later, Timmy. Peacock. Have a flippin' great day! That's terrible. Well, now we can go stop people. I'm guessing this is what we need to do. We need to tell... Maybe we need to tell Sybil his name. So that she'll laugh and not sleep with him. Or do I talk to him? I'm not sure. You just let peepers know how you want it, baby. Say my name. Say my name. Hey, Dick Peacock. <laughs> what? What? You ruined everything. What have you done to his eyes? You still want to make out? Oh. <laughs> well, we've saved Sybil from a lifetime of regret. And given ourselves a blackmail opportunity to secure our financial future. Is the wedding back on track? Yes, but now I'm behind schedule. Um, let's not mention any of that peepers incident around Abe, okay? We'll try not to. You know, a donation to my re-election fund <laughs> would make it easier for me to keep my mouth shut. That's Max for you. Good news, Satan. We took care of all three of those poppers. Well done, lads. Now come with me and watch Satan do what he does best. I'm intrigued. Boardroom negotiations and corporate power play. Oh. <laughs> You've lost, poppers. It's time we oh, put soda. an end to this charade and returned hell to its Soda's rightful owner. Now. What Satan said! Poppers! Assume demon form! <laughs> Behold! Peepers the omniscient! He of the death gaze! Oh, bother. Behold! Wizrael the tormentor! It burns when I pee! <laughs> No! <laughs> Behold, Specs the Dominator of. Oh, come on. Those are your demon forms? <laughs> They're different colors. Why am I always the only one who puts any effort into these things? <laughs> Sam, I'm not enjoying the <laughs> poppers anymore. Can I kill them? Not if I get them first. Banish the air uh, Sam and Max, we cast you into the pit. By the power of the bell! And the book! And the candle! Okay. 
think I know where we're gonna be. So, so be, be it. it! Yeah, okay. Well, Max, unless we learn how to fly, we're destined to spend the remainder of our days on a tiny outcropping surrounded by impossibly hot lava, ash, and soot. I don't mind, Sam, as long as I'm with my best friend. Oh, that's sweet, little pal. Hey, give me one of those pork rinds you were carrying. Sorry, buddy. I already ate them all. We're gonna die! <laughs> <laughs> By the ruby red goiters of Rube Goldberg. Somehow I knew there'd be a Max, Santa it's Santa Slay. I don't know how. An unexpected stroke of luck. Or is it, Max? Remember that time long ago when we jacked Santa Slay in an effort to save Christmas and drove it recklessly into a hellish vision of the future, very much like the one we're standing in now? I stopped paying attention halfway through that sentence. <laughs> I wonder if our ghosts are here guiding us right that. now. Hey, past me! Check this out! <laughs> Classy as always, little pal. Now let's get out of here. Abandon all! Ho ho ho! Ye who enter here! Mm -hmm. Okay, so there wasn't even uh, any like the you thing through there. The, uh, That's highly implausible! Fire. Come on, Sam! Let's take this baby out and fly donuts around the seventh circle! It's out of power, little buddy. I guess I shouldn't have left the afterburners on. I like how parts of hell are now frozen. I think that's supposed to be a joke. Hello, Commissioner. No, Sam's here. I don't know, he just let me answer it. <laughs> Is it cold in here to you, Max? I should have worn my <laughs> mucklucks. What's that, Commissioner? I won the Nobel Peace Prize? Congrats, pal. I can't think of anyone who oh, deserves yeah. it more, whose name I'd be able to pronounce. Okay, thanks, Commissioner. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, roger that. Yeah. Okay, everything Love is... you, too. Do we yeah, have a new case, little buddy? Uh... Nah, same one, but Sybil wants me to officiate at her wedding. Well, that'll be fun. We'd better hurry up yeah. and restore the balance of power in hell, then. A little help here, guys. Yeah, hell's frozen over, so uh, there's a lot of stuff happening that, w that shouldn't be happening. It's locked. Just seeing a bell makes me salivate. Hmm. Can we shoot the bell? Ooh. Uh -huh. Hmm. Let me hold it. I don't like that we can see him digesting, Sam. It's all part of nature's hideous circle of life, Max. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that. that I mean, I was expecting to do something, maybe, but... Ice cream in hell, Max. What flavor is it? Hmm, looks like plain but... <laughs> can we switch out the, uh... Can we switch out the list again? It's Satan's grocery list. <laughs> and <laughs> we do anything with slang? It's out of fuel. Why couldn't Stinky have lied more? <laughs> Can't do anything with the computer, can we? No, we can't do anything with the computer. <laughs> I like how their names is are uh, the soda in the name is censored now. Time to pay, poppers. On second thought, perhaps I'll wait here. I saw him. I saw the. Oh, oh there's a candle. Whee! Ah, I see what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to get that. People oh, really shouldn't leave ritual it. candles lying around. So we're gonna have to light it, I guess.
Good thing Mr. Spatula's fish tank is open, so he can enjoy the winter wonderland with the rest of us. Hmm. Did we get some ice cream? Is that what we got? Yeah, we did get some ice cream. Okay. We haven't used the coffee cup at all. That's not how you're supposed to fill the pot. <laughs> Yeah, flaming pee, that's very disturbing. The microwave doesn't have a setting for tentacle monster coffee. That's also disturbing. It has three settings. Bake, popcorn, and cremate. Hmm. I have a feeling we're gonna need these signs at some point. Let's go let's go and open it. Go and look at all of them again. Envy. Ah, they went for the swivel throne. Good job. Okay. He's keeping the poppers at bay for us. That's Satan. What a guy. <laughs> oh, okay. We got... Okay, we got an instruction on how to summon. Ring bell, we did that. Close the book and blow out the candle. Okay, ah, I know one thing we need to do. I know how we finish it. We use the candle when we approach. Because hey, Max! On it. What? Max, I'm thinking of starting a new, more aggressive diet and exercise regimen. You always seem pretty fit. How do you do it? Can't hear a word you're saying, Sam. <laughs> the circulation's cut off in my ears. Let's wrap this up pretty quick, little buddy. I've got five months of TV to get caught up on. Yeah, the TV down here is all public broadcast and educational programming. <laughs> and to think TV was the one thing I was looking forward to in hell. Sometimes I wish those <laughs> poppers had never been born. Yes, but without the existence of evil, we could never truly appreciate the glory of beauty, wisdom, and virtue. Well, yeah. But those voices... Those just make you appreciate the glory of an old-school smiting. <laughs> Be careful, Max. Hell is slippery when wet or icy. Okay, so we need to close the book. Okay, I bet we can't do... Yeah, we can't do anything back here. What book is it, anyway? I don't see a book. Just another Manic Monday. Hmm. Wrath. Oh, that's right, he did. Good grief. Oh, good grief, you're right. Oh. Ringing the bell. When we're in charge, no one will ever forget our birthday. Okay, so ringing the bell or shooting bell did two did both of the steps. Duh. Thank you very much, Bug. Okay. Time out for number three. Nothing happened. I guess one of the poppers has to blow it out. Hmm. Okay, we have to get it. We have to hey, put poppers, out something. Blow out this candle, will you? I'm not plotting your doom. Honest. Oh well, worth a try. Okay, we gotta put on something first. We gotta put it on a birthday cake. Whee! Why do we have that would be a birthday cake? We have ice cream. Nope. Not happening. 
Nah. Good thing Mr. Spatula's fish tank is open, so he can enjoy the winter yeah, wonderland with the rest of us. But what was that pig recipe you had before? Oh, um, tar... Crown. Tar... is in it. Just a pinch of tar. Damn! A little ice cream. Damn! Someone spilled tar and ice cream into Mr. Spatula's fish tank. Hmm. A cup of joe. Damn! Oh, now, coffee. through the magic okay. of television, let's see the cake in its final form. You make it look <laughs> easy, Sam. Okay, and a candle. Now we're good. Okay. Oh, okay. I like how it won't even let. Okay, this. That means that's it. <laughs> I know three princes of hell who've got a special surprise coming. <laughs> Why, you. You. You remember. <laughs> Oh, you guys! Happy birthday, f poppers! Did someone say birthday? The Riachis are back. Ole! Oh, <laughs> 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 I'm gonna miss those guys. Don't ever say that again, Max. Not even as a joke. <laughs> well, boys, you've restored the infernal realms to their former glory. Thanks to your quick thinking and irrepressible spirit, hell is saved. I'm not gonna lie. I'm extremely proud of myself right now. <laughs> we better run, Max. Sybil and Abe's wedding will be starting any minute. Later, Beelzebub. Sybil's paying me by the hour. Why don't you come by the reception, Satan? Really? I don't want you to get tired of me so soon, since you're going to be seeing so much of me later. <laughs> I didn't like the sound of that. Don't sweat it, Sam. We're bound to get reincarnated as each other a few times anyway. You crack me up, little blasphemer. <laughs> I am glad you uh, uh, remind me that. So that hold on tight that while that we been, get on board. The wedding train. That's right. Why are you with the bride or groom, sir? Hmm. What if I don't like either one? <laughs> you think he'd probably be, uh, be uh, leaning towards the groom? Oh, hey! You're wearing white. Interesting choice. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today to celebrate this twisted mockery of holy matrimony. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I hope they have lots of children. Uh, you would say that. Do you have the ring? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Hunter Buck says they don't last three months. Mazel tov! Okay. <laughs> Ready, girls? Anytime! Denied! <laughs> And what is it that you do? Listen up, because I'm only going to say this twice. I'm a bug. A bug! Interesting. Uh -huh. May I interest you in a new blackmail opportunity? Uh-oh, he's already looking at another head. That's so sweet. Thanks for coming. Blah, blah. Thank you so much. Enjoy the dinner. <laughs> Poor Leonard. My litter's tall. 
You put your left foot in, you put your left foot out. Play Love Shack, baby. Electric <coughs> Slag. Bye, kids. Have fun. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. You think we can trust him with our car, Sam? I'm just thinking it's that. possessed by demons, Max. Can we trust the car? With them? What a twist! <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> yeah, they'll be bad. The soda poppers always come. You back. haven't seen the last of us, Sam and Max. We can never be defeated. We'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> Maybe they won't be back. That was brutal. Dang. Anyway, that's the end of season two of Sam and Max. That's as much as I've uh, played. There's one more season, five more episodes. And they will be completely new to me. <laughs> you. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking them out because I remember uh, Beats, you know, throughout. Uh, I definitely remembered a lot of the first season. Second season, I've only played once. I think I played the uh, uh, the Santa one twice, but beyond that, I'd only played it once. So uh, season two, uh, I still remembered bits and pieces of it, but not a lot. This one has actually been, especially the last half of it, I haven't remembered much at all. Which might be why I was so confused through a lot of it. Like, I don't remember how to, how this goes. Um, not that my memory is very good anyway. But, uh, yeah, um, season three, I'm looking forward to that. And that'll be it for Sam Max. So I've only got five more streams up. Unless I wind up splitting the streams again like I did for this one. Only five more streams of Sam and Max. So, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it. Thank you, Bug, for uh, hanging out tonight. Thank you, Tonic, for stopping by. And anybody lurking in the chat, I do appreciate you. I'm probably going to be going to bed sort of fairly soon. So, see you later, folks. <laughs>